okay so you want me to go back to my student days huh? like that so okay. almost yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> what uh, 30 35 years back <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 85, 1985 was a year I joined chemical engineering. Uh, uh, so 1985 is a famous year, by the way, for chemical engineers. You know why? Uh, Bhopal accident took place on that. In that oh, right. <laughs> I did my bachelor's from um, um, ICT. Of course, that time it was called UBCT. It is in Mumbai only. So after I did graduation, like um, I uh, took a break. I uh, I I went to uh, industry. I, I I worked for almost one year uh, before I joined masters. So I did masters from IIT Bombay. Uh, so I, I changed uh, the institute, and after masters again, I went back to industry. Uh, I worked in NCL National Chemical Laboratory. Of course, it's a research lab in Pune, but uh, I worked in um, I worked in uh, a process engineering division, and that's where I worked for again one year. Um, and then i realized that probably research is something that i like more um and i came back uh, to academic institutes so i went back to ict i did my phd there um and uh, so it's like this ict industry then iit again industry then back to ict right and after yeah after phd then i did post doctoral fellowship uh, in australia monash university for about 3 3 and a half year before i joined iit bombay i joined iit bombay in 2000 yeah january 2000 okay. difficult to forget thank you <laughs> yeah it's okay. almost 20 21 years now perfect long time no <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so far like uh, there's a close interaction in industry and um, i'm happy doing that so you know going back to uh, college the reason i chose chemical engineering was probably i was interested in a lot of different areas so when i finished my 12 uh, i couldn't figure out what to do whether i wanted to do even so you know something as different as medicine or uh, computer engineering and then uh, i sort of decided if i took computers then i don't do any chem- chemistry at all on the other hand if i take up say medicine i'll do a lot of biology but i'll entirely leave say electronics for mm-hmm. me chemical engineering was like the the compromise discipline that would allow me to do a lot of different uh, things and so mm-hmm. i did it i had you know so uh, I, decisions have always been difficult so once i took it i wasn't like one of those guys who was uh, in love with chemicals i was always thinking oh did i take the right decision and it took me some time you know one or two years to settle down and realize that okay i'm like, enjoying this so that was my track then i went um, to the us wisconsin did a phd and you know i came back to india because also i wanted the um, india was a developing market and for a lot of other reasons and I, then i started consulting uh, primarily because i couldn't figure out what uh, you know I, i wasn't a great fit into some of the corporate opportunities i was finding over a period of time i was lucky to bump into professor mahajani we, we did some projects together i was loved teaching i probably didn't have the patience and the, uh, the ability to do research uh, that much i was too much of a generalist but i still loved teaching and so then when iit happened and i was on this front border of industry and uh, academia Uh, I love that. So every time I have to start first, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Rahul, we get some time to think. About how to... <laughs> we can we can alternate. So maybe I can go first on this one. Huh? Yeah, so, you want to go uh, first, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So Professor Vajiri gets the time. So um, yeah, so I was I was a fairly uh, good student, I, I guess, uh, all through my undergrad at least. And when I went to Wisconsin, then suddenly it took a bit of adjusting because then you were competing against the best of uh, the whole world. And then I realized, oh, I wasn't that close to the top anymore. Um, in terms of uh, fun things, yeah, I mean, I always loved to read. Um, that was it. Then I took up uh, in the US. I got a lot of opportunities. Took up sailing, which I still do. So I sail. Uh, I sail in Bombay. Uh, Uh, at uh, you know a sailing boat, a huh? small sailing boat. I race every Saturday on uh, one of the sailing teams. So I do that. Took up swimming, uh, hobbies like that. I love to travel. I speak German, and so that was something I picked up in the in the US. Uh, but overall, I think I was less good a student once I went to the US. I have a lot of uh, other fun things to do. Yeah. So I don't know, Rahul. I think uh, mine is exactly opposite. Rather, I was uh, I have, like I again. If you look at uh, My student days in uh, bachelor's and that in 
uh, PhD. Like uh, I was uh, not very sincere when I was as a BTEC student, <laughs> and uh, PhD, of course, like uh, I really enjoyed a lot. Uh, I spent two years in IIT. Here also, I kind of uh, I was involved in many extracurricular activities, especially sports. Like uh, these inter-hostel sports that used to happen. I don't know. Uh, does it happen now? Like uh, uh, <laughs> it happens, but that hostel culture and the competitive spirit has diminished. Yeah, so that time, no, the you you must have seen that movie, no, that hostel court. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. E- exactly same period. Uh, by the way, I was in that that period. I was in my <laughs> Okay, so uh, I used to participate in uh, the carom competition, table tennis, and all that. Really enjoyed those days. So uh, because of that, no, like uh, uh, later on, like uh, I thought, like uh, let's now consider on career. And PhD was uh, kind of. Uh, I just devoted myself to my laboratory and uh, uh, did research, and somehow uh, uh, that was a crucial period where I got very much interested uh, in a core profession. Like uh, I joined Purple because I wanted to uh, know what happens uh, in industry, how the production is done, and all that. Uh, and uh, I, I really, uh, I still cherish those memories. Okay, like uh, somehow uh, uh, spent almost one year there. Uh, but I think every uh, single day was something that taught me a lot. Um, I, I did everything that uh, that probably comes under uh, chemical engineering profession. For trainee engineers and all, they don't involve uh, engineers these days in uh, any such, like many such activities right, at a time. But I got that experience, right? and uh, so that's why, like uh, when I saw the column that we, I remember, still remember those vapor liquid equilibrium calculations, flooding calculations, the numbers. What was the height of that column that we designed? Um, it was a it was a column uh, that used to separate uh, acetic anhydride and acetic acid. Okay, and uh, it was about 30 meter tall column. Yeah, so for for me, uh, most of my interactions have been with uh, in a in a consulting context. So I, I can't really say I've, uh, I've had great specific achievements, but I can tell you some insights. Like one of the things I realized was uh, don't uh, don't go by averages. Like when I started out, a lot of people I used to I, I used to myself feel uh, that oh the the average computer engineer makes so much or that's his package or something of that sort. I think averages don't matter, right? You can be in a sector with a high average and you can be performing badly. Or you can be in a sector with a relatively low average, but you can be uh, the top 1% or half a percent, right? So one of the things was don't go by averages. Uh, another thing I found was uh, in a lot of cases, you have to have things like hard work or persistence. And I don't, I don't think I'm great at them, but I've seen that the people who are, uh, so it's, you know, sheer knowledge, genius, intelligence can take you only so far, but these other things are important. The ability to undergo boredom, I think, and it's underappreciated, right? A lot of cases, the very first time you do something, you're bored. You do it for a month and you start liking it. And if you can get past that period, uh, then you can have uh, good success. So one other thing is, you know, when you choose careers, companies, things like that, sometimes you choose the biggest, the best, which is fine. But sometimes if there's a smaller guy who has a bigger problem, your value may be bigger somewhere, right? So. So those sort of distinctions um, were what I learned. Also, uh, just be curious in general. I think that has helped me. Uh, just be curious about whatever and whatever topic. It's okay to be a generalist and shift, but while you're doing something, uh, do it with full passion, right? So you may want to do chemicals right now, and a year later, maybe you'll be in investment. That's fine. But don't uh, don't just wander around without special. When you do something, do it such that uh, by the time you leave it, you've sort of mastered it, right? So that that is then uh, okay. And a lot of skills I learned. In various assignments, I thought, okay, they are, uh, you know, where will I use them again? And later, six years down the line, ten years down the line, you encounter a problem uh, where those skills can be uh, useful. But when you learn them originally, you don't uh, see them in that context. So we proposed this course to the department uh, and institute, saying that. Uh, we want to kind of go on uh, a, an industrial tour for uh, a longish period, say about three, four weeks. And then uh, Rahul joined and we thought that that's not enough. Okay? Course on wheels is just a um, kind of initial thing in the sense that we motivate students and kind of show that there is a there is a link between what you learn in your theory courses and uh, what happens in industry. 
but just establishing that link and motivating students is not enough uh, because uh, we used to get many questions from students then uh, fine this is good okay then what next okay so there, then we realized that there are many aspects which are not covered in conventional chemical engineering courses uh, that we should kind of uh, introduce uh, so this techno commercial course came in then uh, we have this um, applied industrial topics and uh, slp uh, SLP started probably because uh, pandemic. I would say thanks to. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we did a lot of brainstorming and all, and uh, finally it turned out uh, to be um, a good experiment. Uh, of course, students should say that, but it is evolving. It's still evolving. We started, and uh, overall the response from student is positive. At the same time, it is being liked by even faculty members as well. Okay, so let's hope it continues and probably takes a shape where like we achieve that uh, steady state, <laughs> and, uh, right? I think I think Professor Mahajan covered a lot. I, I'll just say some other dimensions. I mean, uh, uh, I think what is also happening in chemical engineering is there's sort of this divergence between where research is going because research is really in depth, right? Grad school research. Versus if you come out as an undergrad and go into the industry, or if you come out as an undergrad, have a startup, go into an MBA, you sort of have this divergence between more of an operational chemical engineer versus the skills you need to go into grad school and research and things like that. Right. So that is one uh, area where uh, you try to remedy. And so there has to be this mix of an academic bent and you try to the industry. And I personally faced it. So as an undergrad, when I went to the plant, I was totally lost. Then in grad school, I felt I was totally on the other side, the rigor and the, but I couldn't deal with anything in the plant. So I think uh, it's a good opportunity for a lot of students to get out into the plant and then try to connect it to the fundamentals. And that's sort of a rare uh, opportunity. So I think uh, that's why a lot of people are enjoying it. We are enjoying teaching it. Uh, so that that's the reason why it, I think, works out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the last sentence is important. We are also enjoying it as teachers. <laughs>
okay because you yeah, are students from iit are mean for something more than uh, just salaries and uh, their own careers okay they are supposed to make changes uh, in the system okay and changes are rather than positive changes i'll just caution that there's no one answer that fits all so it i think it's something about me i just like to be curious and be a generalist but and but this uh, in order to be a chemical engineer you have to de- deal with a lot of areas a uh, lot of fuzzy things right empirical correlations so i can imagine someone who is um, you know very systematic very mathematical and may like something else so i don't think it's a universal answer uh, given where the world is going i just want to uh, understand a lot of different things and I, I, and so long as i'm an engineer i don't i don't see any other branches that expose you to such a large variety of concepts all the way from bio uh, to you know a lot of stuff in say control etc is highly mathematical so this that choice doesn't exist in a lot of different branches I think uh, one of the initiatives in the department is the Tinkerers Lab. You know, some yeah. of your colleagues are dealing with it. And I see a lot of promise in things like that. Another uh, possibility I see is, you know, uh, one thing which is there right now is startups. You know, you hear about them all the time. But on the other hand, you don't see so many. You see chemical engineers go into startup, but not in the chemicals domain. Mm-hmm. There's probably opportunities for that, and I look forward to you know more startups that uh, become big. or not just startups but more companies in the service sector and things like that we we tried to actually introduce this um, uh, uh, industry 4.0 concept uh, in um, in our uh, chemical engineering education like uh, wherein we talk about uh, applications of iot ai ml which is again coming in a very big way like we introduced the lab component sometime back uh, but then again because of pandemic we, we couldn't continue that so uh, we want to do that as and when we get an opportunity to do that it's not that everyone should do a career in core engineering okay like it is up to you you know like what is your liking and all okay it's not, uh, so uh, but then at least they should get enough exposure uh, to uh, uh, to uh, take a call take a decision about their career okay so look at uh, look at btech uh, as just an introduction to career don't uh, i see many students uh, feeling very insecure okay first year second year itself uh, thinking about job and placement and other things okay uh, and uh, that is that don't do that okay you are iit engineer when you graduate definitely you are going to excel which wherever you go okay wherever you go you are going to excel because god has given you brain right but then uh, same time no like uh, uh, as i said like try and see, do, do the things which are more impactful okay because you are meant for that <laughs> not just to as i said i said before also not just to earn more salary make your career and have a very um, peaceful life and all okay that's that's not what you meant for you will it won't be peaceful okay after some time like <laughs> your brain will not uh, let you uh, kind of uh, relax okay you will have to do some challenging work okay? and and and, uh, and core chemical engineering is one such opportunity right so for for my side i think the message is uh, uh, just do whatever you do uh, with full passion and focus on it so i've rarely found you know if you think that oh, i'll neglect chemical but i'll focus on analytics because it's a great opportunity by neglecting you'll probably do badly in both of them on the other hand i know students who you know were really good in core ended up taking non core jobs and they excel in those courses as well right so somehow it's not a zero sum game so you can't really neglect your core and hope that you do well somewhere else you pretty much the ones who do well do well across the board so i've known people who really are good at core but now are doing investment banking and they're good in that as well so very rarely can you neglect one and then uh, you know suddenly switch and do well in something else so i think just focus on you pick an a branch focus on it you'll figure out whether that's it for you or not if you have other opportunities pretty you know down the line you will come across the same concepts i mean if you're a good chemical engineer you like i said you use those concepts in insurance or somewhere else as well so if but if you don't focus on that you're going to have a problem uh, all through the career so i think that's my message that just try to excel in whatever you do don't think of the long run you can again switch but these habits and these concepts will stay in with you no matter what you end up doing for your career